means. What do I mean? Okay, maybe it's just the kids. Maybe it's just oh the kids. God. What? That voice running around. But when you're taking when you're taking a, a, a broom and banging it purposely on somebody's roof, that's rude. What? First off, Excuse she me. The no, that was okay. But until she hears noise. Is my kids not allowed to have any? You know, you can't make a noise complaint. Okay, but you, you but but you know what though? You can you can make them no. slow down. The whole approach you brought to this door isn't do acceptable. <laughs> yeah, oh, the poor kid, dude. Literally, he's just like, man, I'm just trying to play. That sucks. Yo, her voice though, like that is it's too bad. But that is too many cigarettes, guys. Like Jesus, like that was like, eh, like holy moly, lady. Like calm down on the smokes, you know. What? And record you are in my office you have no right to do this okay record put it out there <laughs> customers have responsibilities mm -hmm. when you do not do what you're supposed to do it's not my fault get out of my office yo this guy's accent is sick Fitness central does not condone bad behavior okay. <laughs> we do not condone bullying we do not condone nonsense yeah no, we don't count you as a customer you because what you are doing is insane. Yo, yo, for real, dude. We do not condone nonsense. We do not condone insanity. Bro, like, even though this guy is losing it right now, he's actually making a lot of sense. Like, sometimes you see these people freak out and, like, there's, like, no, none of the, the things that they're saying add up to logic. But this guy has just, like, had enough. You know, I want to see what happened prior to this because clearly, like, this customer is doing something. Like, this was a freak out. But I feel like if I had to guess, I feel like this is a warranted freak out. You know, I, I'm just, I'm literally just shooting a shot in the dark there. I don't know, but I feel like it is. Excuse me? What? You call me a pro? How dare you speak to me like that? It wasn't me. I wasn't even talking to you. Are you all right? Listen, respect yourself. There's kids in this class. Oh. All right? No! <laughs> no, I won't respect myself. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that, that that noise at the end there, man. I mean, okay, if he actually straight up literally like called this lady a prostitute, like I get it. Like I understand why you'd freak out like that, but I don't think that's what was going on. Like I'll be honest, I didn't really fully hear the beginning of the clip, so I don't think that's what was happening. And obviously, like even if you do that, then he's like, hey, like I didn't mean that. Then it's over, you know? It's like, okay, like you're done now. Like the, the freak out is done. Okay, it's like, oh, sorry about that. Like didn't mean to apologize entirety of the bus. You know, but then she just kept going, dude. She just like, it was just like you started it and the snowball just kept going down the hill, man. Oof. Oh, I think I've seen this one before. Of people like you coming in here talking bad about the mm -hmm. That's why you can't get workers. Who wants to sit here and listen to some here and talk to you? Let that man, or that man ain't calling me like, bro, I want you to be doing the best with me. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I like. I can tell you don't like it. Well, too bad. Go someplace else. Go to Burger King. Have it your way. Have it your way at Burger King. Dude, honestly, yeah, I, I vibe with this, man. Like, we all need to see this. Like, he's freaking out, but he's not freaking out to the point where it's so much that, uh, like, it's ridiculous, you know? He's making a lot of sense, right? It's just like, let this man do his job. You think he wants to have to deal with people like you? This is why there's no workers. If you don't like it here, go somewhere else. Go to Burger King, right? It, like, all these things to me, and they, they make a lot of sense. We didn't see what it was that she was saying or she was doing before this, but you got to imagine it was super rude. It was probably uncalled for, and the dude's just calling her out on it, and frankly, she's like, yeah, like, she's standing there, you know, she's in this defensive position being like, yeah, I was in the wrong right now. She knows it, but she's not saying anything, right? So, yeah, we all need to hear that, dude. Like, literally, like, all of those things, respect. Listen, Drunk girl gets booted by Uber driver. Yeah, it's not about the money, though. You said, but I'm the uh, one that's gonna win on what? Get, get, get out of my car, please. Get the fuck out of my car, please. Why are you even driving people on certain nights? When you don't even know how to deal with certain What are you people. talking about? You don't want to, you don't want getting disrespectful mm, though. Now I don't want you, now I don't want to take you nowhere. Like Her business is going to fail. She's about to like pitch a, an it, idea. She, I'm a businesswoman. She's like, that small business is going to fail. Okay. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm the one to get disrespectful. No, listen. Keep She's speaking. the one getting in the, in the attitude. Car. Come on. Listen, I'm a business. He even pushed the yeah. seat forward too, like gave him That's extra so leg room. You know what I mean? That's so gentle. Yeah, just... All right. And then what you felt now? infuriated too is that I asked. 
the abrasive, aggressive uh, yeah. arguing. I mean, even her friend was like, I think we should leave. I think yeah. it's time. It's sometimes when you're the left. friend is like, I, let's just go. And you say it like a million times, you're like, just, just go. And eventually like, we're like, wrong, like, let's just go. You're in somebody else's car. Like, that's mm -hmm. so scary. Doors just open like, too. Bikers are just, come on. Yeah. Bikers are trying to get by. You know what I mean? Too, like, oh. Yeah, you're arguing. The guy's like, "Can you just can you just shut your door, please?" I'm just trying to get home. I've almost doored so many cyclists. If you're out there, it's probably me. Sorry, I don't. I gotta keep looking. It's so fast. Huh? I just ran a little boy from out in the hallway because he was playing in the hallway. He's gonna be in school. I think he didn't Yeah. So I've noticed this has been going on for about two weeks now, mm -hmm. and I've been reporting mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So I purposely just put a package Ooh, right here in front That's of my good, door. The trap. <laughs> watching you and you just pick that package up so we're going to do one out of three things you're going to replace every one of my packages that you stole so sure. or i'm going to call the police that's not the only one you've taken and why did you take that i love that i love yeah i love red handed yeah you know what that video reminds me of and you know which one which one but the guy's trying to break in oh yeah he's like i'm trying to see if the lock's oh, yeah. broken he's he's like, like, Dude, i stop. thought this was my key he's like no you're breaking into my house like i have it i have you we have you it's done That's stealing yeah yeah the best when you're just quiet you're like explain yourself and yeah. you just hear what they say. She's like, I have one of three options. She gave her two, and I'm like, we we all know the yeah. third one. Third one's hands, saying. dude. Third one's hands, and you're justified. Oh, real yes. cops, not fake cops. Like it's real cops. Okay, real cops catch I'm impersonating. Fake guy. It. Let's do it. Cleveland police officer? No, no, I'm not with Cleveland PD. I work for uh, Cleveland Watchmen. We're a security company that hires only off-duty police officers. It's moving around yeah. a lot. Yeah, a lot of movement. Yeah. Uh, are you an off-duty police officer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So who are you with? Uh, Pickway Sheriff's Office. Pickway. Yeah. Right. But you have no but you have no ID from them. It's fixed right? out a lot. And have you ever been sworn in by them? I've talked to the chief. You're not answering the question. You're avoiding the question. It's very simple. Are you a sworn police officer anywhere in the city? I messaged the chief. I don't know if he got the oh, email. I got walked by. So Ohio permission. with any department. Not currently. Okay. Talking to the chief is not enough. This is a fake, this is a fake phone call. He's like, yeah, I just... Just start throwing codes at him, you know? Like, what does 47 David mean? He's like, I don't know. He didn't, look, he's, he's wearing a vest. That's true. Uh, if you're committing to the role, you better have a good prop. You better have your research done. An actor prepares. That's all have, I gotta say. Have a monologue ready. Have like a... Have something ready. Yeah. Don't have this. You know, I'm wearing a watch. That's the first thing. When, when did the crime occur? I don't know. You're not a cop. Yeah. Can, you, can you take this note? He's like... No. So call this in for me. He's like, uh, my cell phone? He's like, you tell me, man. He's like, I don't know. I don't know. What would you use? He's like, what, what do you think? He's like, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I'm a cop. I just have a really itchy head. He's like, what's so shifty? I'm like, Cop's like, can you just put the hat on the ground? Make please? it reserved, thanks. Just talk to me. <laughs> what? My post. Which post? East post? East post on yours, dude. They're my fence. That post is That post mine. is not your post. Bullshit. You tied your fence to mine. What the f are you crazy? You must yeah. be smoking that crack, dog, because this all belongs to me, dog. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. Yes, oh, okay. it does, bro. Right. So we're having been passing the Look argument. This. <laughs> this fence here is mine. Look where the line is, my friend. No. You can see it. Look at that. It's not tied line. up to it. You're a fucking moron, dude. You're not tied hey. up to it. Okay, this is the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, like, who actually cares? You know, who actually cares? And if you hate your neighbor that much, let's just say, if you hate your neighbor that much, he looks to be putting up a fence right now, or it looks like he's building more of an enclosure. Shouldn't that be a good thing? Like, shouldn't you want that? Shouldn't you want to be like, have, have a barrier between you and this guy if you hate him that much? I don't know, it just seems to make sense, you know? It's all on the bottom, see? And now you can go to a different store. We will not be serving you anymore. Thank you. Have a Thank good day. You. you got for what? What? Why are you not serving me? Please pull forward. Why are you not serving me? Get out of my drive-thru. I'm now. just asking you why you're because not serving me. Because every single time we make your drink, it is wrong. Obviously, we cannot satisfy you the first time, and we're done trying. So get out of my drive-thru. You know what? Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of with the employee on this one. Like, I understand that was a bit of a blow-up, and we do not have all the information. But if, if this guy... Okay, okay, you know what? There, there, are, there are some caveats here. If they were making the drink, like, abhorrently wrong multiple, multiple times, and he was just saying, like, hey, you're making it wrong, I get that, but something something in me, like I got a sixth sense that he is being really particular about things right now, like being super, like like too picky, and these guys have had it. And in that case, I'm with the employees, just like this is a McDonald's, this is not a specialty drink store. If you wanna get your drink done, 
perfectly. You gotta go, you gotta pay up for that. You gotta go to a gourmet place, you know what I'm saying? This is McDonald's, it's the drive-through. Get gone. Right now, you know, you and your trash and your shit are not gonna stay here. Go behind Sports Arena. What? That's where you <laughs> park you and done? live. I'm not living here. Where are, are you living? Okay, you? who's your friend? I'm not telling you who my friend what? is. I'm staying at my friend's house. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Where, I'm where, not where, camping where, here. where, where? None of your business. Get away from my car. You You're in trouble. Fine. Call You're the cops. I'm calling the cops. Call get the cops. away from my car. Dude, and you already know the police. They're going to get on that phone and be like, what is this? Like, we have way bigger fish to fry than whoever this person is on vacation. Like, just, just stop. Just stop. Why is it that these people wake up in the day and decide, you know how I'm going to spend my day? Ruining other people's days. That's got to be a really sad, really upsetting existence, right? Sucks. Here are the top 10 2022 public freakouts that we just can't stop thinking about, okay? They've been on my mind. Well, they haven't been, because I actually haven't seen them. This is a reaction channel. Pedestrian <laughs> has it right away. And so did Jesus Christ have his way in his stuff crucified him. So don't tell me who has the right and who has the wrong. No. You almost hit me with what? the car. Thank you, you should, Christo. You should be a better example. I see you, sir. You almost hit what? me with the car. Man, this guy, like, <laughs> takes everything just a, a few steps too far. You want to go to jail? Jail? Yeah. Do you want to go to the cemetery? Where do you want to go? Jail, cemetery, hospital, a lot of things. Jail, But you hospital. almost hit me with the car. You can't do that, sir. And you have, you should sir, be a better... Sir, watch me too. Maybe I'm crazy. So you shouldn't be driving. You shouldn't be driving if you're crazy. Oh, he got me a camera. Look, they get my plates too. Okay, good. I cannot believe the, even just right off the hop. You must, the pedestrian has the right of way. Well, so did Jesus, and look at what they did. <laughs> what? How did we even get here? The man's on another planet, that's for sure. Oh, we're in the drive thru. It's a Dunkin' Donuts drive thru. I don't know. We'll I find out. I can't hear you. I'm 70 years old. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What'd you say? One thousand of donuts assorted. This guy is just angry. Say it again. Do I need some help? No. You want milk? Thank you. I can't hear you. Pull forward, please. No, pull forward when I decide. Not when the dog's truck decides. How's that? He's just angry. Listen, like, for sure, you're 70 years old. You're, like, having a little, a bit of a hard time hearing. No problem. Super reasonable. Do we need to be yelling aggressively at everybody because of that? Also, you can pull up. You can pull forward, okay? You don't need to be angry about that and just decide when you want to pull forward. You don't get to decide either. This is how this works. You go so that the next person can order. All right. Hit my car. Okay. What did I do? What did I do? Dang, she was going off. I also like don't think you can say things like that to people in traffic or otherwise. I'm pretty sure that's a threat, and I'm pretty sure it's against the law. What? Why are you so mad? 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 Also, I don't think you can hit them and then just drive away because I'm pretty sure that's also a hit and run. So there's, you know, a couple a couple rules were broken during this entire altercation, we'll say. Yeah, not good. Not a good scenario. I'll say that for sure. Oh, dang, a Walmart with a subway? Freakouts always happen at Walmart, always happen at Subway. Today we got the double whammy. <laughs> Yeah, man, like, it's just not the way to go. All right. Embarrassing. Just trashing the place and leaving it for the employees to clean up. It's just not cool. It's just very uncool of you to do, no matter how angry you are. You know, adults just shouldn't throw temper tantrums like that. We should find other ways to um, figure out our own emotions. You're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to be upset, but it's just all about how you handle it. Got a wild Karen at Walmart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's disrespectful. There's kids over here. Yeah, my kids are listening to all that. 
you guys will never shop in here again. Thank goodness for that. Oh, fuck you. Do. <laughs> what the hell is she saying? Yeah, I think it's so funny that she started off this clip being like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then like five seconds later, she's like, Fuck you, I'm never coming here again, God damn it. Like literally, I do not believe that you were sorry. I think that was a fake apology, folks, if I just had to wager a guess. I'm sorry, I can't, we're closed. I need my phone fixed today. I can't, we're closed. We like, I don't have enough time. I can't go without my phone. How much you want, I'll pay you whatever you want. What you it's need? Not, good... It's not about money. I'll pay you extra for your time. It's not about- I need my phone, I can't go without it. I, we don't, what kind of phone is it? We don't even have the screen for it. I can't do this tonight, I'm you sorry. You have to do it, I cannot go without my phone. I can't. You have to fix my phone, I can't go without my phone. Okay, okay, well, I think we have bigger issues that if this is an actual cup, for some reason, I was getting, like, I was getting the vibe that this could be fake. I don't know, maybe, maybe that was just me. But if this is an actual clip, then the biggest problem here is that you need to figure out how to live your life without your phone. Like, I understand it is 2022, and it's almost, it is hard to do things without that, you know? Like, you kind of need it to communicate with everybody. Like, your job requires you to have it, all those things, I get that. But if you can't make it, like, 24 hours without it, like, uh, there's a bigger issue afoot. You know what I'm saying? My problem is you. Oh. Okay, he's getting a little aggressive. No one's talking to you, bro. No one's talking to you. No one's talking. No one's talking to you. Okay, yeah. So there's there's a lot of accusations being thrown around here where we just we don't know any of the information. You know what I mean? Look at your own was talking to you. And I'm talking to you. You are crazy. He I was not talking to no away. one. I, I was not crazy. talking to that person. Yeah. I was talking you to nobody. Talk to women that way. Who? This Who? Is me teaching Who you was I talking to? I'm gonna I'm gonna withhold my judgment off of this 100. I will say uh, I will say one thing. My dude who was on camera most of the time was being very aggressive. So I don't know how this came about, but we have to tone it down a little bit. Like that slam of the car. If I was the guy behind the camera, I would be feeling unsafe. The, you know, is he is this aggression warranted? Is what he's saying warranted? We don't know. We didn't see what happened prior but yeah like tone it down a bit dude you live here and you think your mother would appreciate you doing that to no, other residents bitch. she didn't do anything it was her resident. so now do you live here because you're the one who's screaming like a little baby oh what yeah, oh my god okay, she's so just a little girl you want to have fun what do you want to do our practice it. so you don't think we should respect each other but then you say i'm not nice but you're the one who started oh my gosh that was you so you should say you're sorry because you don't treat adults like that. Oh my gosh. You don't treat kids like that, lady. Like, holy, I hate you. I hate you, dude. And honestly, the person behind the camera, like I get that you're filming it and like, yeah, like th this is good that you're filming it. But after you're done filming, you gotta get up. You gotta talk to this lady. Like that's horrible. That's actually horrible. Imagine having that much hatred in your body that you'd go to a bunch of children who are having fun and like do that to them. And I get it. Like, okay, kids can be annoying sometimes. Like, I think we, we could all agree on that, right? Maybe they're being a little bit loud but like dude like you cannot approach it like that like that was just absolutely abhorrent man zero respect for that lady from that clip that, that was that was gross this guy from the chiefs game tried to fight a kid and my dad over everyone behind him asking politely for him to sit down during some of the game he pulled out some cards saying he was a deputy sheriff and was allowed to behave what? that way I'm a deputy he sheriff, so I can break the law. Everyone to stand up, even though we had elderly people in our section. Someone like this shouldn't be allowed to protect the community when he flaunts that he's entitled to act that way. Yeah, exactly. Literally, all of those things. Totally. If they, if what they are saying is true, then one thousand percent guys it's a sports game i get it like emotions are heightened right now we're all feeling things we're probably drinking but this is not the answer you know and especially too if you're a deputy and then you know you're pulling out your card being like oh i'm a deputy like you can't do that but i can like who are you? Like, actually, who are you? You know, you're here with me. We're watching this game together. You clearly have had a few brews, just as many as me. So, like, that, I just, that is so, way to take a good situation and turn it bad, you know? It's like, we're supposed to be having fun and you're doing this? Get out. 
You need to leave. I'm trying to steal. You need to boss. leave. You need to leave, I'm man. trying to leave, you piece of shit. Have a blessed day, ma'am. You can't just pepper spray people because you're angry at them because you got caught trying to steal a car wash. I know, she needs to leave. She's trying to steal a wash. Are you kidding me? You need to leave, ma'am. I'm about to call the cops. About to call the cops, ma'am. Y'all need to back Y'all need to back up because she needs to get out of here. Lady, like, listen, he probably would have let you go through the car wash if you weren't screaming at him. Calling him a narcissist and then being like, you're a narcissist, but you work at a car wash. Um, you really sound like the narcissist right now that you're so conceited that you think you're better than somebody who's just doing their job. That's very narcissistic of you, okay? I'm not a psychologist, so I'm not trying to diagnose you with narcissism, but I'm just saying, if we're just throwing it around... And I like that he's making those people back up so that she can get out because it's really inconvenient. And now her behavior is impeding on other people's day and other people's ability to wash their cars, which I really respect because although it's annoying for those people, she's got to learn a lesson double whammy. That's why she's, you know, using base. Yeah. Yeah. Food fight. <laughs> this Karen couple is mad because the other table is celebrating and being loud and they're not part of it and are boring. Like, just go somewhere else. I don't know what to tell you. Or talk to a server. I don't know, just... Th Standing up and screaming and throwing your drink probably isn't gonna do anything. Right. <laughs> Canada road trip. Wow. No, uh, no signaling. Okay. No. All right. A little aggressive tailing. It's always safe. Oh, surprise tractor! Ooh. Didn't expect him, did you? Wow, that's, that's interesting. That's, that's right there. That's the universe. I would say like wear a seatbelt, but that has nothing to do with that scenario. I'm like, that's why you wear a seatbelt. You know, he was like yelling know. this way too. He's like, you know that. Right off. Farming equipment appears. He's like, where's that see? ambulance? They're again? too busy arguing. There's like 13 construction signs behind them for like eight miles. That ambulance will be on the way there. She'll be like, I'm not moving. She's like, I'm still late. Robert De Niro squinting in your face with the phone there, like it's a badge. Like, is that are you sleeping? Guy? Open your eyes. No, I'm like, I'm, I'm over here. Oh, the ambulance is blocking her in. Nice. Okay. Okay. You know your f when the squint comes in? Yeah. She's like, I'm late for work. I don't care about the medical emergency right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. You're gonna stay here. Yeah, sorry. Still being polite, ma'am. Yeah, still being polite. Yeah. This cop has more patience than our mom, I would yeah, say. Uh, That's insane. Uh, that was nice. That was, uh, way to read it. It, was, yeah. it sounded violent, yeah. but a nice little jingle. You know what I mean? It's, they should put jingles yeah. over like World Star Fight videos. Yeah. And like, it's fun. This young man was in this other man's grill. She's, boom, clear, boom, she's, boom, she's boom. clearly wrong here. Yeah, she's boom. like, move, I gotta go to work. They're like, someone's dying. But she no. squints and does this. Like, yeah, the pointing, the pointing, like everywhere, there's so much pointing. Yeah. It's like, well, you can wait for that ambulance. You can wait for that man's heart to start beating again. Yeah. Again, what are you doing? Taking a video of this. This is I absolutely you think ridiculous. The FBI after this because I'm irritated that my broccoli is not resolved. Was a mom from really rude, and I don't even know what's going on. I know. So why are you? Like Jonah. Because of the words. <laughs> I, I might. I might go psychotic pretty soon. I'm probably gonna. I'm Sounds like that. It does sound good. like they're very similar. Glad you're here. Cool. Keep going. The huge iPad too. Like I was gonna say, it's just so. She's out of gas. No, I actually just need to Both have Both her and the iPad are out of battery now. Actually, in some great fantasy well, world of mine, apologize. Oh, Marty. For oh. Your, oh. For your employees. Your employees. She said broccoli. Is this food? I think so. 
doesn't it matter? This is a beautiful, where are you? This is if off you have a giant iPad. iPad. And your voice goes like this a lot and it's like up and down. You're wrong. I go, whatever you're saying, or just, you're just take a minute. Yeah. Write an email. Mm -hmm. Write an email. Things with an unbiased, you know, you can read things just factually. Oh, this go happened. To the beach. Okay, absolutely. Go swim. As soon as you grow like yelling at people and your voice is like this. I can't even, my ears are gonna blow. I heard broccoli, so I think no. I don't know. Just look at like, we're in Canada. Like, it's hold 80% of Enjoy my life. Broccoli. And she's like, complaining on a beach. I'm like, it's Steamed, done. grilled, raw. It's broccoli. It's good. You're gonna feel better. Huh. Fast food. Here comes fast hands. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> no. You keep palming the pickles? Yeah. I got That's you stealing. Oh, she oh, ate the cookie. Oh, okay. She just ate that cookie. She just reached over your counter. See the phone. See, it's it. always the phone. It's always yeah, like. No, you gotta pay for that. She got her body cam on. Man. Body I was like, why is it stuck like that? You can see HD, her grabbing. Before cookie being trying to take something I want because that cookie will hard sell. Right. Babe, I got money, babe. I don't mind paying for nothing. Do you hear me, babe? So don't check me, boo. This is before or after the pandemic. I love it. I, I, she's Does like, it she's like, how much is it? It's like, it's not, you ate it. It's on the yeah. thing. I, I hope enough that you're gonna pay for it because it's right there. Which what did you eat? It was so fast. Yeah. How much is the small? Well, you ate a large, so the large is actually. I actually don't have that. Fuzzy. Oh, <laughs> turns out she wasn't a Karen. She just wanted to know why they were honking at her. And then, you know what? She's inclusive. Oh, you're a fuzzy? All right. A fuzzy. I don't know. A fuzzy does sound a little better, but does it? The guy's gonna be so cute. I already know. He looks like a little boxer dude. Love him. Oh, uh, this is my yard. Ooh, take that back. He's like a big bully guy. I love him. Are you stupid? Like this Karen, she's saying that his dog needs to be on a leash in his own yard while her dog Aiden is clearly not on a leash in her yard. The hypocriticalness of that. Your dog has got to be on a leash. Really? He's standing in my yard. But he's supposed to be on a leash. Come on, he's supposed to be on a leash in yeah, his own Aiden, yard? Take your barking in the house. <laughs> I'm 41, Patty. I'm 40. I love the guy who's recording. I don't know why. First of all, the other, the Karen lady, her dog's name is Aiden. That's such a random name for a dog. Like, it's dogs with, like, people names. Like, there's some names that are kind of, like, interchangeable. Like, Bailey. Like, Bailey's a human name, but it's also, like, a regular dog name. But Aiden is not a regular dog name. And there's something very funny about naming your dog Aiden, especially when this guy's yelling at it. <laughs> This does not need to be happening at a Domino's pizza. But there's clearly something else at play. Like, this isn't just a Karen situation, somebody being entitled and somebody being annoying. There's clearly something else going on here, you know what I mean? So while you definitely can't act like that, and those Domino's employees shouldn't have to deal with this. Um, you're rude. You don't have money in there. Rude. You're rude. Okay. You're the one that don't have You money. don't know how to work a f***ing cash register. Yeah. Imagine like just having a temper tantrum in like a winners or wherever this is and thinking that you're gonna win. Yeah, okay. Where's every manager just came up? You have no money on your card. What do you want me to do? Money on my card. Learn how to learn. Work a register. Yeah, okay. Bye bye. You all. I'm calling the cops. Go ahead. Give me my receipt. Yeah, you're the. Bro. And also just calling people names is never a way to win an argument because if you're just calling people names You clearly have nothing to be angry about saying you don't know how to work the cash register Um, if you have no money, there's nothing I can do. I'm not judging you for having no money I'm just saying like I can't help you if you have no money. I'm sorry. Let's see. Here's the front of your car yeah, well, I don't This is one spot Show us the this is one spot. Yeah. And then ma'am, here's the second spot Right here, and then look. Here's the third spot you parked across. Oh, that's right here. Look at one, two, that's pretty two three. She left the buggy right there too. Yeah. Mm, Why would you park that's a double. Three spots like that in such a small parking lot when everybody else has to have a problem parking. Cool visor. The visor. Cool visor. No, no, ma'am. You're parked across three spots. 
careful, don't hit my car. Just go. You just pulled exactly pulled like, like this. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. I'm drunk. Yeah. Unless you have a Bugatti. Take up two, not three, yeah. two. Two's you know what okay. I mean? Two's okay, I understand, yeah. you paid a lot, it's like no one's, you know, you're not gonna let the, we get it. someone practicing their parallel parking right beside it, yeah. no problem. Buggies too, I'd be like, okay, fair. You leave the buggy there, and it's just like a three. an SUV, I don't know. That's got a backup camera too, come on. Yeah. That's, that's a, that looks like a 2019. With right that there. visor too, you have nothing in the way. You could just, you could see anything you want with all that. Put the cart back at least. Karen calls cops over cold fries at McDonald's. Nice, I've always Met wanted emergency. to do this. It's an emergency, here we go. All right, Mr. Sims, come over here. I'm gonna have you sign this. This is amazing. What is this is called a waste of time. Anything, you're wasting no, people's sir. time. No, sir. Just come over here. I'm gonna have you sign this real quick. I said I'm not under arrest. No, no, you're not. Yeah, just come over here. I'm gonna have you sign this real quick. You have to sign it saying that you don't yeah. want to come back to the property. So you'll fill this part out. Can I see it, sir? Yeah. Can you come over here, man? No, I'm, I'm afraid of y'all, sir. Why are you afraid? I've been here three years, sir. I'm afraid of All right, you, I'm I'm gonna walk you I'm, through. I'm, Why are you I'm doing afraid. that? I know how to fill it out. Why are you doing that? I know how to fill. Am I All right? right? Yeah. Oh, watch your back. Oh, <laughs> so he, so the cops are like, okay, sign this. We're gonna get this done. He's like, I don't want to do it. But yeah, he's like, I actually want nothing to do with you now. And then like, he runs. Okay, well, call us. I don't know. How to tell so you. much running. It's so hot out, like, dude. Dollar drink day is just just cool like off. sign the thing, man. Give me my pen back. It was a good pen, probably. Read the room. The subway, what is it, a bus? Okay. It's just like three people who don't understand Adams. Here we go. Here, okay. So the cars can't go through one another, which yeah. is probably what they saw before. Mass, can't this. go, mass. Why, why is everyone going in so aggressive? It's like, do you not know what's gonna happen if like, I don't know. It's like someone parking the cars at Thanksgiving or something, you're like, can you get my car out? It's behind 18 cars, I gotta move that. And they're like, okay, if I move that car, dude, yeah, so it's like, just, no. you know, I can't go through a car. We've all been drinking. Can you back up nine cars? Just tweet. It's like, I'm like 12. <laughs> no, I can't do that. I've made G1, I don't know if that counts. The bus, scary too, in a parking yeah, lot. True. That's, I'm more true. confused about that. At one point or another. Just follow the rules. There's a book. Be slow, take your time. There's laws.